Good morning, this is Kella Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Governor Kristi Noem says she will ban telemedicine appointments with abortion care providers who prescribe pills online. This comes after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The governor spoke with Margaret Brennan from CBS's Face the Nation this weekend. Let me ask you about something else the president said. He said uh, that his administration will oppose any state governments that try to block the mail, search a person's medicine cabinet, or control a woman's actions by tracking data on apps that she uses. Is South Dakota going to do that kind of surveillance or adopt laws like Oklahoma and Texas have, which incentivize civilians to report on their neighbors? Margaret, that's never been the conversation in South Dakota, and I don't anticipate that we will ever do that. We take privacy rights very important. Uh, we we are, protect our freedoms and our liberties here. We will make sure that mothers have the resources, protection, and medical care that they need, and we're being aggressive on that. Right now in South Dakota, abortion is allowed only to save a pregnant person's life. Brennan also asked if Governor Nome is open to exceptions for rape and incest. Noam did not directly answer the question, but did say she has never believed that, quote, having a tragic situation happen to someone is a reason to have another tragedy occur. Abortion rights demonstrators took to downtown Sioux Falls on Sunday to protest against the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Demonstrators began the protest along Minnesota Avenue by Van Epps Park. The group then marched up and down Phillips Avenue. The South Dakota Republican Party has filled out its lineup of statewide offices ahead of the November election. Delegates to the state convention selected Marty Jackley as their candidate for attorney general. Monet Johnson defeated incumbent Steve Barnett for secretary of state. Delegates chose Larry Roden to run for another uh, at Lieutenant Governor. The Attorney General's office is vacant after the Senate removed Jason Roundsburg last week. Noam hasn't indicated who she'll appoint in the interim. Incumbents winning Republican nominations without contest Saturday were State Treasurer Josh Hader, State Auditor Rich Satgast, and State Public Utilities Commissioner Chris Nelson. Turning to weather, what's in store for us this week following a calm weekend? Let's find out with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. Well, good morning there, Sarah. Things will continue to heat up over the next several days. This all happening with mostly clear skies this morning. We do have some cloud cover in the south central South Dakota, but nothing expected to fall out of those clouds for today as temperatures right now are in the 40s and 50s and even some low 60s coming in. Afternoon highs will hit the 80s. I'll have more details on your forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A Mitchell man facing child porn charges could face four decades behind bars. 42-year-old Justin Brendy is charged with receipt and distribution of child porn. He has pleaded not guilty. Court documents say that between November 2020 and October 2021, Brendy knowingly received and distributed and attempted to receive and distribute child porn. His trial is set for August 23rd. A Hayward in Iowa man is behind bars this morning after an incident in Central Sioux County over the weekend. The sheriff's office received a report of destruction of property and assault at a home southwest of Ireton, Iowa. 39-year-old Christopher Hewer was arrested and charged with criminal mischief and domestic abuse assault causing bodily injury. As more hikers head out into the Black Hills, local search and rescue teams are getting busier. Custer County Search and Rescue says they were called to the Little Devil's Tower trailhead for reports of two hikers who were suffering from dehydration and heat exhaustion Friday afternoon. Officials say the hikers had taken a wrong turn that had led them on a longer walk than they had expected. Several agencies helped rescue the hikers. Officials remind everyone to bring more water than you think you'll need while outside. One South Dakota company may be responsible for more than a third of all patients recommended to the state for medical marijuana cards. Dr. Mason Bediant with My Marijuana Cards says he'll re he's recommended about 400 patients to the state. That's a significant number since the state has authorized just over 1,100 cards. You can check out the full report from digital reporter Jacob Newton on Kelloland.com right now. 
Century Theaters East at Dolly Farms in Sioux Falls is now offering movies in Spanish. Local pastor worked with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in Sioux Falls and Century to include blockbuster films in Spanish. So far, movies such as Lightyear, Jurassic World Dominion, and Top Gun Maverick have been shown in Spanish. You can read more about the efforts to make the movies more inclusive with this Kelloland.com original by Jasmine Jackson. If you enjoy reading the Laura Ingalls Wilder books, you'll soon be able to visit another one of her popular landmarks. One of Wilder's most popular books is titled By the Shores of Silver Lake, but right now tourists can't visit that lake as there is no trail leading there. That's something the community wants to change. A group has even gotten the National Park Service involved. Uh, folks here in this community felt like a recreational trail that would allow folks to move at the same speed as, as Laura did would be an important amenity for both the community and for visitors. And so this trail would provide a walking and hiking and biking opportunity for residents and visitors. The project would cost nearly $2 million and feature a trail, boardwalk and lookout tower overlooking Silver Lake and the Big Slough. If you're interested in donating to the project, you can find out how with this story online now. As of today, you can now start buying fireworks in South Dakota. Stands across the state are ready to sell you all kinds of fireworks to celebrate the 4th of July. But before you buy, there are a few safety reminders to keep in mind. Young children should not handle fireworks, never hold lighted fireworks in your hands, and only use them away from people, buildings, and flammable material. Also make sure you have a bucket of water nearby. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Scott? All right, good morning you too. Good morning, Kettleland. We'll have mostly sunny skies, though we are waking up to partly cloudy conditions in south-central South Dakota. You can expect temperatures to warm today. Numbers in the 80s, even a chance that some may hit 90. We'll go with dry skies until we hit maybe the midnight hour. Eastern Kettleland, slight chance for a shower thunderstorm. It's in there at about 20%. Uh, otherwise dry, western central South Dakota. And then for tomorrow, we'll have mostly sunny skies as temperatures will be a little bit warmer than today. And then Wednesday is looking like the hottest day in the seven-day forecast. Up to 85 today in Sioux Falls, 86 in Aberdeen, 87 in Pier, and 83 in Rapid City. With the isolated chance for a shower or storm tonight, temperatures will fall to the 50s and 60s. Mostly sunny and hot tomorrow. Temperatures easily into the 80s. We'll have a couple of us in the lower 90s. You can always check the details of your seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.